Hey guys, Zubidu77 here. Week 1 has finally concluded. First hurdle over. Now the final results. 101.903. Now MDK had a 101.903 to begin the week. But Metalhead showing that, yes, this benchmark is pretty tough, as we've said before last week. Getting a 101.736. It's a start out the week. He later on improved it barely by a 101.715. Uh, becoming one of two winners in, in the overall week. But the overall best time, I'm by a hundredth of a second. And clearly, I mean, it's sad to see Shibby Pod didn't compete. He would have cranked, though. He would have dominated, clearly. But yeah, the winner by one hundredth of a second, Dr. Feech. Pulling it out, out of the water. Maybe pulling it out of the sandy beach, or the sunny beach. Who knows? All we know is, let's uh, let's actually analyze his run. Because I'm so excited to actually show you, oh yeah, all the positive notes. Notes. Two. One, go! But yeah, he always wanted to start off. But yeah, you want to start off like in between the center buoys. The turn control, I believe, is probably an important factor in this. And Fish utilizes it really well. Hell here. And staying straight within the buoys and not swerving around a lot. That saves you a lot of time. I'm That and turn control for sure. Or definitely. Yeah, for first time, for people that are new, that's basically the key to anything. Especially if you're playing on default. I mean, sure, it's a slower time when you play on default. But hey, official times, maybe calm condition warm-ups like Metalhead said would probably help out. Out to better your skill, possibly. I mean, anything to help you become a great wave racer in the near future. But yeah. But yeah, that and a couple of uh, sub-20 second laps were basically pretty much the key. And if only somebody could get like a sub-22 first lap, that, that would be like probably another bar being set here. Because I mean, the sub-20s are basically the key. Either the whole fast lap thing. Anyway, as you can tell by the music in the background, round two, week number two, Ooze Challenge, Drake Lake Reverse. Verse. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Sounds simple. Oh, really? You just gotta get past it in under 112, right? Wrong. Here's the catch. You have to get through it in under a 112 time limit without missing a buoy. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, well that's gonna take longer though. Well, this challenge, that's the thing. Ing, it's gonna be a lot harder. Harder. So, 112, Elv is your benchmark this week, for week number two. Hopefully you can get under that, at without a single miss. Even though I know that the buoy mark for reverse is a fiver. But yeah, do your best, and if, but yeah, if you miss a buoy, the run will not count. Out. Yeah, that's right. Always watching. So, good luck. Get to the next challenge in three, two, one, go!